One way or another, Trump is leaving the White House, okay? And when he does, his enablers will be left wandering out in the code like retirees after a MAGA rally. Where are the buses? We were told there would be buses. Ugh, so bad. Here to help me decide what to do with them is actress, writer, and comedian Blair Erskine. Welcome, Blair. Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Now, tonight's lightning round, Blair, it's Four Seasons Hotel or Four Seasons Landscaping, okay? So here's how it works. I'll name a Trump enabler, and you tell me if they're Four Seasons Hotel, meaning we should let them back into polite society, or Four Seasons Landscaping, meaning nope, they're never getting rehabilitated, okay? You ready? Got it, ready. Okay, first up, Ben Carson. Do his gifted hands go to the Four Seasons Hotel or landscaping? He's a doctor, right? So we'll need someone at the we'll need someone at the hotel for emergency situations only, like right. twin separation. <laughs> you think there might be an emergency twin separation? I don't think we should count anything out at this point. He always looks like he's asleep. I feel like they may need his sleepy surgical abilities. <laughs> At landscaping, down at the hotel. Well, they have power tools over there at landscaping. Yeah, 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 they might have more accidents there. Exactly. The white woman vote. Does that go to landscaping or to the hotel? Because, you know, the white woman vote came out for Trump two elections in a row. You can't trust us. So yep. I, I'm going to say leave us at the leave us at landscaping. Yeah. And that sucks for me. I feel like white women are too sneaky, you know, that they're going to find a way into the hotel. Like they're, and they're gonna ask to speak to the manager and then it'll just be uncomfortable for everybody. Oh yeah, you're not, no one's safe at the hotel. <laughs> yeah. Hide us away for a little bit, but we'll find you. I love how you include yourself in it too, Blair. I mean, of course you're a white woman, but you didn't do? vote for Trump. I didn't vote for Trump. Thank okay. you for pointing that out. I'm just making that distinction for our audience, okay? <laughs> okay, next, Goya, okay? Remember, people boycotted oh. them when their CEO backed Trump. Do they, are they at landscaping <laughs> or do they get into the hotel? Let them into the hotel, we can put, we can put them on the menu. They have tortilla wraps and other products. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not... <laughs> I like the they didn't pay me to say that. I'm not that mad at Goya. I mean, you're right, they're beans. Who cares? Let them in. We may need some well-seasoned, non-perishable foods for the Civil War to come. Who knows? Absolutely we will. Exactly. Yeah, they're going to be in. Oh, here's a good one. Van Jones. Okay, he palled around with Jared and Ivanka. So, Four mm -hmm. Seasons Hotel, Four Seasons Landscaping. He cried on TV. He did. So, maybe maybe we should let him, maybe we should let him in. Oh, wow, you were taken in by that crying. Kind of. I mean, a cruel man cries on TV and, and you forget everything he's done wrong. White women, you, you guys keep getting taken in by everything. This is what I'm saying. This is the problem. But his kids! Okay, I understand. Damn it. No, I know, I know. There's a lot of emotions here. Here's somebody that hasn't cried, okay? James Comey, oh God. ex head of the FBI. Look at him posing like a Biden campaign merch model. So thirsty. Do we let him in? Or he not? cries in private. Um, <laughs> I don't think I can. Not looking yeah. like that. He just put that shirt on. It's all the wrinkles from the plastic wrap. Fuck off, Jim. Here's one of your favorites The Lincoln Project, okay? Your boys. They're never Trumpers, but still Republicans, okay? So are they hotel or landscaping? They are landscaping because if we let them in the hotel, what they're gonna do is take our money and then build another hotel within our hotel and then kick us out of So you think they're sneaky? I think they're very sneaky. What What if they started crying? No, no, no. Former Republican tears don't work on me. I, no, we can't let them in. They'll try to trick me because they'll try to appeal to my good side about like going after Trump. And I'll go, yeah, man, that was right, that was good. But then they'll be sitting next to me and I'll go, does this nigga really belong in here? I don't know, I think he needs to get out of here. That's exactly what the exactly. fuck they'll do. Yeah, right? no, we can't let them yeah. anywhere in. I feel like they're glom ummers, <laughs> unners, glom unners. <laughs> Finally, Melania, the first lady. Can we really say a first lady can't go to the hotel? Is she gonna go to landscaping? I'm gonna keep her at landscaping. Unless we let her in the hotel just to do Christmas decorations. And that's the only thing she can do is Christmas decorations. <laughs> and she, punishment. Cause she hates it so much. <laughs> Cause she fucks Christmas, yeah. What if she cries though? If she cries, then Larry, it's over. You know, I'm gonna let her in. But it's a white lady crying. So does that make a difference? You know what? I forgot about white women. Yeah. And that's how we got here. People exactly. forget how sneaky they are. No, we got to keep her at landscaping. Thank you for reminding me. There you go. But that's for Christmas, she does have to come decorate.